Hey everybody, today I want to give you a quick tip on paracord. Okay, out here at camp, we use paracord a lot. Survival situation, you may need to use paracord a lot. Out camping and hiking, you might need to use paracord. So I always carry at least 25 feet of paracord with me. Out here at camp, I commonly see people bringing a big bundle of paracord like this, unopened, and they have it in their backpack, and they come out here to use it. Or they might bundle it up something like this ahead of time, uh, thinking that it's easier to access. This is 100 feet, this is 100 feet. Basically, they'll wrap it around their arm, their forearm and their hand, and then bind it like this or tie it up however they want. But the problem is this and this, when you go to unbundle it, 99 times out of 100, it's a big mess. It's just a big knotted mess. It's all tangled and it's going to take you a considerable amount of time to untangle it. If you are in a bad situation, you don't have time to sit here and unbundle 100 feet of paracord or 25 feet of paracord. So prep your paracord ahead of time. First of all, I carry my paracord in 25 foot segments. The chances of me using more than 25 feet of paracord at a time is slim to none. Plus, if I need more than 25, I can splice it together using a fisherman's knot or something else, whatever knot you prefer. So now I can turn 25 feet into 50 feet, 50 feet into 75 feet, whatever I need. No harm in cutting this down. It's not a climbing rope. I'm not gonna use it to climb a, a rock face. This is for more for emergency situations. So I'll carry multiple 25 feet segments and I wrap these up in a specific way. Let me show you real quick how I wrap them and why I wrap them the way that I do. First of all, cut your cordage into roughly 25 feet. Don't get out a tape measure, just guesstimate. My wingspan is about six feet. So I know that if I do six, 12, 18, 24, and then add a little, I've got, well, there's probably about 25 to 30 feet here. Now, once you've cut it to length, melt the ends so it doesn't come, become frayed or that inner twine pulls out. Now, once I've got it in my 25 foot sections, I'm gonna wrap it around my hand. So the way I do this is I take my left hand and then I, with the paracord, I pinch it between my pointer finger and my thumb and I hold this in place. And now I'm gonna do a figure eight between my thumb and my pinky. So I come up, I'm on the top of my pinky, I go around my pinky to the bottom, top of my thumb. Spread my hand out, top of my pinky underneath. Now you see I'm doing a figure eight. I do this until I have roughly four or five feet of paracord left that's not raveled up or that's not wrapped around my hand. Getting caught up on some of the vegetation here. You do this at home. You pre should prep ahead of time. So now I've got an arm length. This is so this is about six feet. I'm going to go a little bit shorter. Now once I have this wrapped around, this is 25 feet. I'm going to pull this off my hand and hold this in a tight bundle. And then with this excess amount, I'm gonna wrap it tightly around my paracord here, my bundle. Nice and tight, holds it in place, holds it secure. And then when I get near the end, when I have probably about eight inches, I'm gonna finish it off with a clove hitch. If you don't know what a clove hitch is, check out one of my other videos and you'll see how to tie a clove hitch. But now I've tied that up. I got a nice secure bundle 
and that's going to be easy to unravel it's not going to get tangled most of the time it's not flawless it's not perfect but most of the time when i go to use this it'll just fall open and i can use it easily so let me step back so you can see i'm going to undo this and it's just going to fall open no knots no tangles no muss no fuss now i'm ready to use my paracord quick tip hopefully you find that useful carry 25 to 100 feet in 25 foot sections hope you learned something see you again next time <laughs>